right, to, uh, today we're going to run through installing what we call a pilot operated check valve or a load hold valve. So the purpose of this is with nothing connected to it and just this valve, even if you were to disconnect the hoses, the cylinder, sorry, will be locked in position and won't move in either direction. It actually needs a signal into the opposite port to actually unlock it and let it move. So that's why they call the pilot check valve. If you have a look at the symbol here, you've got your two ball check valves with a spring and a seat. V2 and V1 means coming from the valve. C2 and C1 are going to the cylinder two cylinder ports. Okay? So if you send a signal up here, it will free flow, but it won't actually let oil out unless it's actually getting a signal to lift the ball and let oil out the other side. And the same in reverse. When you're sending oil through V2, It'll free flow into C2, but it won't let oil out of C1 unless it's got that pressure signal from V2. That's what the dot dotted lines represent. So it's basically what we call a pilot check valve. Um, quite handy and useful for um, sta stabiliser legs on motorhomes and things like that because they will not creep. As long as the seal cylinders are good, the cylinder seals are good, sorry. These will not creep. They can, at times, if you run them really slowly, be a bit noisy. So, if you actually want to leave the um, caravan park or the motorhome park or the camping grounds earlier than usual or you arrive later than usual when you're setting up, they can make a bit of noise and they can upset the neighbours. They will hold indefinitely if you've got clean oil.